let's talk about temperature and absolute temperature. I'm pretty sure you're confident with this topic, so I'm going to do it very fast. Normal temperature is any measurement of temperature. For example, they give you in Celsius, we have 0 as the freezing point and 100 as the boiling point. And 1 Celsius is defined as you wanted to use 100, so 1 Celsius will be between these reference points. 1 Celsius is 100 of movement or degree. I know it's kind of crazy, but the interesting part right here is the absolute temperature because this reference has absolutely no meaning at all. 0 and 100 Celsius, why did you choose boiling and freezing point of water? Why didn't you choose, I don't know, maybe superheated water or, for example, the English system that uses the uh, the temperature at which a uh, salt plus water freezes, which is 0 Fahrenheit, and the temperature of the body of the king, which is 212. Well, this will be the boiling point of water, and the temperature of the king will be 100. So the normal temperature or body temperature is about 100. So we will went to do an absolute, a relatively thermodynamic, that means something in thermodynamics. So this is called the absolute zero, is actually when all the molecules are in the ground state. And what does that mean? It means essentially all the molecules are stopped, they are not moving, kinetic energy is equal to zero, everything is static, and this value is found to be minus 273 Celsius. So they define this temperature as the zero Kelvin. And this is very important because when we use ideal gas, we will be using absolute temperature gas. So keep that in mind and keep with the course. This was a free preview. You want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course. The link is in the description of the video. You will get all access. Not only that, you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface, so for instance, you were analyzing or studying pumps, you have it here, the pump block, and then you have the sections, if you were, for example, studying the types of pumps, you can go here, and you have all the classes right here. Not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these. So for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. If you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.